Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about internal benchmarking in Salonis Tool. Before getting into the topic, we need to understand what is benchmarking. Benchmarking is defined as the comparison between two different processes or KPI metrics of two different products within an organization or with peer organization and competitors. Why do we need benchmarking? And how does benchmarking help? Benchmarking helps organizations to identify the areas where the gap between the standard and that of the industry is the largest. This helps organizations to prioritize the area where they need to work. Moving to the types of benchmarking, internal benchmarking describes the comparison within an organization. External benchmarking describes the comparison of processes or KPI metrics between two different products of an organization to an external organization or peer organization. Steps in benchmarking. Number one, determine what to benchmark. Number two, identify best practices. Number three, compare company performance. And number four, address performance gaps. Once benchmarks are computed and comparisons are made across between different locations, products, and vendors, top performers can be identified. Then, it'll be time to dig a little bit deeper into root cause analysis for the less performance one and further into the bottlenecks. This is an overview of internal benchmarking dashboard in Salonis. We can see three button dropdowns. Center button dropdown includes all the dimensions that we are going to benchmark. For example, vendor, region, products, and button dropdowns on either side includes all dimension related information. Now, I'm going to show a live demo on how I'm going to create internal benchmarking dashboard. Go to Salonis tool. First step is to create a variable. Go to variables tab and we can see create variable icon. By clicking on it, we can create a number of variables. I have already created three variables with dim, dim underscore one, dim underscore two, and named them according to my convenience. Now, moving to the sheet, switch on edit and select component button dropdown. Go to manual input and add dropdown entry. Adding all the dimensions that are going to be benchmarked in one button dropdown is an important note. Once added, go to button title, for example. I'm going to give product in button title, and in button action, I give set variable. In variable, I need to give the variable created. For example, dim, and in set value, give the table related to dimension. Once done, go and take two more button dropdowns and go to load entries and give the variable where all dimensions are set. Now, it's time to compare. Select the dimension, for example. I am selecting product as my dimension to benchmark. All different products are loaded on either button dropdown, for example, select MacBook Pro and iPad. TAT of MacBook Pro is 17 days, whereas iPad is 25 days. Further, go on for deep dive analysis to find root cause and find out improvement opportunities to enhance the product deliverable value. Thank you.